welcome to Skies of Arcadia. In my mind, one of the best JRPGs ever made. Um, it came out for the Sega Dreamcast uh, way back in 2000, I think it was. And then was remade on the GameCube into Skies of Arcadia Legends. It added some extra quests, some new characters, a little more stuff to do, but it was mostly the same game. There was a PS2 version in the mix, but because the GameCube version didn't sell very well, sadly the PS2 version got cancelled. I tried to do a recording of this a while ago, and I ran into so many technical difficulties with my recording software, with the hardware I was using, and things just weren't working as well as I'd hoped. It got to the stage where I was spending more time fixing things than recording. I think I've got it all sorted out now, so I'm going to ignore the save that I've got here, and when I get to a save point I'll overwrite it. Oh, <laughs> come back to the splash screen, I'm taking too long. A uh, brief overview of the game. You are an air pirate who sails the skies, uh, looting and pillaging from the rich, mainly keeping for yourself, sometimes giving to the poor, and generally doing very nice things. Um, Grandia 2 came out along this uh, same time, I think, on the Dreamcast. It had a more complicated battle system. Skies is a bit more simple. But, you know, I still love it. Because it works, you know. Why fix what isn't broken? And I love that the story for this game is pretty simple. It's a classic good and evil tale. It doesn't follow that Final Fantasy trope of you're against God and there's and they're telling you nothing while you're doing it. It's uh, it's a very enjoyable game. You can grasp the story easily from start to finish. <laughs> I've never played this game with a rumble pack before. Never had one for the Dreamcast. I never played it on the GameCube with one either. So having the controller rumble in my hands is quite weird. <laughs> it's floppy hair doll on Zoom. You know, firing on unarmed ships. Great idea. Also, it seems like a couple of those cannons would hit the cannon in front of it. One of my favourite things that this game did was ship battles, which would probably take us a couple of episodes to get to, but I adore them. They're great fun. Try not to talk too much over the cutscenes, but there isn't really any voice acting for a lot of them, so I'm not really going to be interrupting too much. We can see everything in the subtitles. It's a little stuttery, the emulation, but not too bad. I've seen worse. Who would dare attack a vessel of the Imperial Armada? Who indeed? Hang on while I press these buttons. Air pirates! Glorious sign time. That doesn't seem like it should work. The Imperial ship should be so much heavier than ours. Also doesn't seem like he's ever going to make that jump. Oh. 
And if anyone thinks he looks familiar, he has appeared in Valkyria Chronicles. Alongside Ica. Straight into your battle. And as you can see, my weapon is red, but I can oop. Yep, I can switch it from red to green, depending on which colour moonstones I have. I can give it different elemental properties, which is good for fighting against certain enemies. But I will just attack right now. Have everyone attack the same guy. in a defensive stance. Didn't get a, didn't get a turn. Didn't even get a hit in. So as you can see, it's a pretty simplistic battle system, but it works. There you go, you earn experience as usual, and you earn magic experience depending on which colours each person has equipped at the end of the battle. And the person who has that colour equipped at the end of the battle gets double the experience for that colour. You must suck at math more than I do. And as you can guess, it's a family operation. Also, why is my weapon blue and it was red before? Let's go. I don't have a blue moonstone. Right, I need to remember the button layouts here because I have mapped a 360 controller on a GameCube emulator and it's a little weird, like A is B and Y is X and so on. Okay, I'll me the first person to look around. That takes me to the menu. Okay. That's how I was waiting for him to go through on his own there. <laughs> One thing that the GameCube version did was it upped the graphics a little bit. But it because they tried to fit a two disc game onto one disc, and it wasn't really a huge difference, but I think the GameCube disc held a gig in 1.4 gig and the Dreamcast GD-ROM could hold about 900 meg or something like that so you couldn't quite fit two of those onto one disc one GameCube disc without compressing it especially with all the added stuff so the, the sound was one big complaint that suffered compression <laughs> now it's been a long time since I've played the Skies of Arcadia version so I can't remember how good the sound looked at the time Sound looked, sound sounded at the time, and so I can't really tell, but the general consensus is the sound in this version isn't quite as good. So, sorry I'm playing a slightly inferior version. Dispose of them. There's some hilarious voice acting. Dispose of them. Fighting time! Okay, so now we need to pick our battles carefully because there are four of them in here. I always find the best. Oh, okay, they're pretty weak. I always find the best strategy in a battle is, generally speaking, to have everyone gang up on one guy. You can't afford to leave one guy standing because. A half-dead enemy is still just as powerful as a fully alive enemy. But with these guys it doesn't matter. Ooh, we missed. With these guys it doesn't really matter because both characters can knock them out in one hit, so... Now there is a counter system which is automatic. sometimes counter attack an enemy that's hit you. Uh, 
and sometimes your attacks will do criticals. It's not standard fare. Level up! There we go. And now Aika has learned a green powered spell, Sakri, which is a healing spell. I wish, I so wish they'd make a sequel for this game. I really do. Because it's just so fantastic. Um, Sega have openly said that they won't make a sequel for it. It appears I get a free turn. If these guys are faced like that, it uh, appears we surprised them. Ah, these guys are a little tougher. I think we get a free turn. Yeah, we do. There's no way to know whether you're going to surprise an enemy or not. We got us all random battles. Unlike in Grandia 2, where you could see the enemies on the field and you could try and maneuver yourself behind them to get a surprise. Oh, they're all focusing on Aika. That bar at the top is your spirit bar, by the way, and while you're in battle, you can focus to charge it up. You'll get a certain amount of spirit every turn, but you can get more each turn that way. And that's used for super moves. It's a shared bar, so you have to work out a strategy so all your guys can use it to the best of their ability. Here goes. That's more like a like a. We had a couple of weak guys in there too. We did it. Ooh, moonberries are used for learning special moves. Just trying to rotate the camera around and see if there's anything around that I've missed. There's a chest over there. How did you defeat my soldiers? By stabbing them in the face. I stabbed them pretty hard in the face. Fifty gold. Okay. Camera's a little tricky in here. Sometimes it just doesn't want to turn around. I'm gonna get stuck on things. Here goes. Oh, you're defending, damn it. Oh. Ah, the uh, pinky purpley icon over their name means they were defending that turn. Aha! Any counters yet? I love that stuff goes on in the background as well. Like the guys just don't sit still. And obviously, they're not actually doing proper fighting. There we go. But you know, there's the uh, there's the feel of it. That they're doing something. Excellent. Uh, Min. What items have I got? How many? Ah, yes, when you're out of combat, it's a good idea to use 
magic to heal. Uh, or maybe not as much as I thought. I don't have anything to recover magic points. Hmm, got that wrong. I can't remember what game I'm thinking of where using magic outside of the field has no cost. Magic droplets, that's what I need. Hopefully with all the Sacri Crystals, you won't need more than that. Holy Skybox, Batman. Can't really complain, you know, it is GameCube era. Clicky sound is coming through for everyone in this recording. I'm sorry if it is, I don't really know what the problem is. We've taken ages because it was night time when we got on this ship. That part really needs the wheel on screen, doesn't it? <laughs> now, Velua is the evil empire. this guy a couple of times through the game. Nothing like a nice intimidating first boss fight. Part? Is it, is it an all animal or? I really don't know. So now we really get to see the battle system in work. Another thing the battles have in this is dynamic music. The music changes depending on how well you're doing. So... Oh wait, what the... Stop moving around. My controller appears to have a sensitivity issue. Okay. Everyone guard on this first turn. Because he's gonna do this! Again. Ah, and here's a counter. Which doesn't do a huge amount, but you know, every little helps. I need to get seven spirit points to use Vice's special move. Cutlass Fury. When I was younger, I thought that was one of the coolest things I'd ever seen in my life. And now you're going to counter again. You know you're going to counter when the attack banner stays at the top for longer. Let's try this! 
I thought I only did 200. There's 500. I could have left out for ages. So yeah, because of the way uh, magic experience works in this game, it's always a good idea to have everyone using a different type of magic. Magic, never mind. Can I hear the music change? Uh, a different coloured weapon. It's a nice easy boss fight for the first one, you know? Don't really do a huge amount with Aika other than let her be support in this first fight. You can skip the. Uh, I like that you can do that. You can skip the animations for moves. Now is a bad time to let my guard down. Now, of course, if Aika got badly hurt at this stage. Um, the music would change to a slightly more desperate this. tone. But um, I'm doing pretty good. I'm kicking ass and taking names. The problem with using magic to heal is it all, as well as using magic points, it also uses spirit points. So you end up spending quite a lot of points using it. But of course, the items cost money to buy in the first place, so... You know. Right. This should do it. Yeah, you can skip player animations, but you can't skip the computer's animations. There we go. Another moonberry. I'm loaded up with moonberries. You don't normally get this many in the first uh, section of the game. You normally only get like one. I should imagine Stewie saying that. Ooh, I was standing right next to him. I could have got to him a lot quicker than that. She's a mystery. Whoa. Uh, sorry if the sign's gone a little bit weird. This cutscene seems to be having trouble. And we're back with a regular sound and regular f FPS emulation, eh? It's never perfect.
you'll get occasional choices of things to say, and they don't affect the plot, but they do affect your rank. There's a ranking system, and the idea is, I think, to get to the, get your rank up to legend. I think is the top one. Uh, so picking the right thing um, helps towards that. It's usually common sense. You just be incredibly nice to everyone, and that little tone tells you you were right. That's the strangest compliment ever. I'm not trying to kidnap you, just relax. That's nice and reassuring. And that seems like a great place to leave the first episode. See you back next time when we take control of the skies.